folks. I thought I'd come on today and this is Nancy Bastine and give you a, I don't know, a background for a stamp or not a stamp for a, we are having a, blah, 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 blah. a start over, take two. We are having a swap this month on <clears throat> tags and I spent yesterday I know in my scrapbooking days that I had a ton of tags and I don't know they must have got feet and walked away because I could not find them anywhere maybe I sent them to you secret no I didn't but anyway um, so I've been busy all day yesterday making tags cutting out tags cutting a hole in them making the sides putting these little in reinforcers on them but what I wanted to share with you today is not so much decorating the tag is this um, fun background that has been done in it she calls it, it her name is Rach 0113 on YouTube and she calls it a bandana um, background and I have done one in my journal a few year or a year ago and I'd like to share that with you what it is is you well we're gonna do it but what it is is you stamp stamps all around the page wherever you want and you want to do it so that you can embellish them with white now I didn't have a white enough pen I think I'm gonna go over this again I put this journal away so I think I'm gonna go over it again with my when my Posca paint pens get here I can hardly wait and make this pop out but anyway you put the stamps on and then you use you stamp them on with stays on and then I use the three basic, basic colors, blue, red, and yellow. And that's what she did. And we're going to use some Tim Holtz stamps. And this, that one. And we'll use his heart stamp. And we'll use some of these. And we'll probably use... I don't know if I can get the bingo card on part of the bingo card on here or not we may not use that but I like to use these numbers but they're all together and I I know some people I've when I was a scrapbooker they would say oh it's okay to cut your stamps apart well I'm not sure I want to do that with these I, I would if they were the clear plastic ones anyway so much for that and then we're going to use um, the stamp foam self cutting stamp foam that Ranger has out essentials I think I just cut three pieces of it I'm not going to use the um, blender tool it would be too much to change those out so what I want to do is do something like this on some tags. I think that would be really cute. So I'll do, we'll do one or two today just to, just to show you how this background goes. It's really a fun background and it's called bandana. A bandana technique is what she calls it. So let's get started. So I'm going to and these um, were cut out of the same paper here that I have a drop paper and it's that real cheap mixed media paper so it's pretty um, slick and I'm hoping that it'll take the the stamp it should it should take it okay let's see what should we start let's start with the heart in the center We'll use the black stays on for that. Oh, I'm not in frame. 
Sorry. Always, always trying to be conscious of being in the frame because, you know, sometimes it's just really irritating to watch a YouTube video and everybody's out of frame. So I'm going to try and stay on top of that. Okay, let's do the center one of this. That came out really good. Now let's try... Hmm. And I'm using some stamp blocks today because it's just easier to get a good stamp with them when you're doing something like this. My black ink's drying out. Shame on you! Now, I stamped this on a, do you know, I kind of remember what this paper is called. It came in a roll like this, and it's masking to mask off if you want to mask, like I'm going to put this over the top of this stamp so that I don't get, because I want to stamp over the top of it. I don't remember what this is called. I'm so sorry, but I know it was real expensive. It was like, 16 maybe 17 dollars for this roll and it's sticky so when you reuse it or when you use it always save your thing that you cut out either put it on the back of your stamp or try to save it somehow to use this one. I don't know what this one's called. It's just some of Tim Holtz stamps. So I'm going to stamp right over the top of that. See what we get. Pretty neat, huh? There's not too much room to put much of anything on these um, little tags. Okay, we're going to use this stamp. This stamp set. Um, it's this. Uh, I don't know what it is. Bitty Grunge CMS089 is what it's called, and I really like it. It has a lot of cute stamps on it. I'm telling you, I might have to go get a different stamp pad. This one's not... I'm going to 
try and stamp that again. It doesn't matter if it comes out right or not. It's, it'll still look good. Okay. Let's see. Now, I'm going to put some of this repositional um, stuff over the top of this. And so I can use this bigger stamp here at the top. Was it the frugal crafter that said you could put glycerin on these to redo them? Does anybody know? If you do, write me a thing down in the comments. You could use, you wouldn't have to use this expensive um, repositional tape stuff that I have, but I think you could use, like, I've seen people use sticky notes. Hang on a minute, I need to get a drink. Okay, let's see what else we have. Well, we have this star and we have this star I think we'll use both of them and stamp around this and I think it's pretty much going to be full after that and I have a little teeny tiny Tim Holtz block here We're not supposed to stamp our stamps on the stamp pad, but this one's just really not very juicy at all. I think that's all I'm going to get on this one. So we'll start with our technique here. So we're going to start out, I'm going to start out with the blazing red first. have this foam I told you we were going to use. Okay, we're just going to start in the center and kind of work our way out a little bit. Let's keep on going, see what happens.
Do you all want to hear what happened to me? Josie, you just need to close your ears now. Put it on mute. I'm going to tell a story and you can't hear because it will upset you. The other, well, about two years ago, well, it's been longer than that. I've had, I had a um, hiatal hernia for several years. And it just kept, it got bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where um, it was pushing my stomach up into my chest, which meant that um, nothing wanted to go down. It all wanted to come back up when I ate. So finally, um, two years ago, we're going to the yellow now. Finally, two years ago, they decided to, because I was losing so much weight and um, couldn't keep any food down, that, and it was pretty painful. Um, you can imagine not being able to get your food down. But anyway, um, they decided after all this tests and everything that um, maybe I sh they should go ahead and fix it. And how they fix it is you have to go through some more testing, um, which meant a tube down my nose, down my throat, into my stomach, to measure uh, the, how much food would go down and how much wouldn't, or I don't know. But anyway, I started to do the test and I couldn't finish it, so I couldn't do that test. So anyway, what they do is they go in and they fix the hernia with your stomach and they put a new, they use your stomach to put a new uh, sphincter muscle on the bottom of your esophagus and then they wrap your stomach around the back of your esophagus and tie it there and that's how they fix the hiatal hernia. And then after you have this surgery, you um, have to eat a special diet for like 90, 60, 90 days before you can have any good food. It's almost like baby gruel you have to eat. And so, this one's not turning out as bright as I want. I wonder if my stazon wasn't quite dry yet before I started this. I probably should have um, heat gunned it for a few minutes to get it dry. Okay, so anyway, so I got through that, got all past that started eating solid foods, everything was going great. I lost, all total I lost 73 pounds and I was just really skinny and I'm not liking this one a bit. I think we're going to start over on another one. I'm not liking how this one's coming out. But anyway, maybe once I get my white pen on there it'll work. So, the other day, I have not been bothered with much of anything, but the only thing is, the only problem you have with it is it's really, um, they really wrap it around tight, and so 
uh, how can I explain that? So you don't uh, regurgitate. You can't, usually you can't vomit. Which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes it's not. Well, it's been two years and I've been doing really, really good until, oh, I don't remember which day it was now. I think it was Saturday. We had a cookout and my husband made hamburgers and Johnsonville brats and, oh, it was just so good. Anyway, I'm not liking this one too much. I think we'll start with another one and do another one and see what we can do different. It's not bright enough for me. Okay, let's start and do another one. So anyway, the first thing I did, oh, my mother-in-law made some baked beans and potato salad. And I mean, we were just having a really good 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 dinner and my first bite I took of the brat I knew the minute I swallowed it that it was too big well it got stuck and it wasn't going down and it wasn't coming up and it wasn't going down and it was stuck in my esophagus and I thought oh my gosh I'm gonna have to go to the hospital this is so painful I mean I could breathe I could swallow I could talk but I just knew it was there and it was in my esophagus in my chest and I didn't think a Heimlich maneuver would would help um, I just didn't know and I was pretty scared so, okay, we're starting with the heart again. And um, finally, finally, I just, I was starting to panic and I, I, kept, I finally told my mother-in-law, I said, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go to the hospital and they're gonna have to go down and get this because I just can't bring it up. But finally, it all, it came up. And then I was better but that was so frightening and so scary to me and I I had to wait for a long time before I could take another bite of anything I was so scared I just didn't want to eat any food and um, we're gonna do this one a little bit different we're gonna use a different grunge let's use the bingo card across here and it just was really scary to me, really scary. But um, it finally came up, and then the next day, it was really my esophagus was really really sore. So I had been sick for a couple of days with that, and um, anyway, I guess I I don't know, maybe I told too much, but Josie, you can turn your video back on now. I'm done talking about it. She seems to get sick every time you talk about anything like that. So, just wanted to warn her, forewarn her, to turn the video off. Okay, we're going to try this one. Um, I think I'm going to go, let's see, maybe right at the bottom of that heart. I have never done these on a tag before and so it worked out really good on the big journal page. I had a lot of room to work. Well that didn't come out so hot but that's okay. We're just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to mess with it. We'll be able to outline that. Take the positional tape off. I might put it back on again. Yeah, I probably am going to. Let's see. We have 
this other oh I don't know what this is I stuck these on this they kept falling off of this little thing so I stuck some double stick tape on here so now they're really stuck to that plate let's see this is I don't know what this is it's grunge I'm gonna stick the heart back on This little one is it says something. We'll try it. that. Don't ask me what it says. Okay. Okay, let's put this back on. Let's put some over this. We're going to use the burst again, the sunburst. gun in here with me. I took it in the other room and forgot to get it ready. I, I didn't think I would need it for these stamps, but I think that they smeared. That's why that didn't that last one didn't come out so hot. But maybe I can salvage it when I go around it with white pen. Hey, there we got that. I think we'll put a couple of the stars on this one. We'll use the other one we didn't use on that up. And I know we'll go here on the free bingo. Put it right there. page here. Okay, now let's wave this around a little bit and get it dry before we start rubbing our other 
inks on it. 